balance and you can choose to set your white balance to whichever white balance you want but if you want to get that um, automatic white balance all you have to do is click on this speaker tool right here so once you click on it just use it to click on any white place on the image and it's going to automatically select a white balance for you so anyway i click on the image it's going to select a white balance for him but if you click on white or any gray it's going to give you almost an accurate white balance so this is the before this is the after hello everyone welcome back to another amazing video my name is Tunde victor and in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to color grade in capture one how to correct your image using capture one also how to mask and how to face skin tone using capture one so basically i'm going to show you everything you need to know about capture one to make your workflow easier so let's get started so the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to teach you guys how to import pictures into capture one so once you create your capture one, if you open your capture one for the first time it's going to show you to create a section and this is how you create a section all you have to do is come to fair and come to new section so just rename your section so i'm just going to rename this section capture one and from here under this location you can choose where you want your folder to be saved to so i want mine to be saved in my, on my desktop for sake of this tutorial so i'm just going to select desktop and choose select folder so after that i'm just going to click on ok so it's going to open this um blank space for me the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to import picture into capture one right now so i'll just come to my import right here and i'm going to look for i'll click on import from so once i click on import from i'll come to my computer and choose from a place which i want my capture one to import so i want my capture one to import the pictures that are inside this folder so i can just click on this so i can just click on this folder and just click on it's going to show review export and it's going to show me to select the image i want to i want to export so i can choose to select all the image but for the sake of this tutorial i'm just going to select the one i want to use so i think i'm going to be leaving these two and i'll click on import my image is going to to open for me like this so once my image open like this i can select which image i want to edit and for the sake of this tutorial i'll be using this image right here so the first thing i want to show you guys is capture one so this first folder right here is the library folder where you import and export your images and also this one right here is where if you want to connect your camera to capture one i'm not really going to talk about this so i'm just going to be focusing on how to correct images in capture one how to color grade it the first thing you should do when you come to capture one just come to this exposure tab right here and when you're in your exposure tab you come to this white balance and you can choose to set your white balance to whichever white balance you want but if you want to get that um, automatic white balance all you have to do is click on this speaker tool right here so once you click on it just use it to click on any white place on the image and it's going to automatically select a white balance for you so anyway i click on the image it's going to select a white balance for you but if you click on white or any gray it's going to give you almost an accurate white balance so if you want to get accurate white balance or close to accurate white balance make sure you are clicking on a white or a black or a brown which is gray colors on the image so i think white works better for this image so i'm just going to click on white to adjust the white balance so let's see the before and after of what it just did so you can see the massive difference so this is the before this is the after or if you don't want to do it like this i can just let me just reset it so if you want to reset click on this arrow i corrected to reset so i just click on here to reset and it's going to come back to how it is before if you don't want to use your picker tool you can just come to your kelvin and observe how you want your image if you want your image to be warm just bring it to this um yellow side this warm side to be warm if you want it to be cooler take it to this blue side the image will be cooler so looking at my image already i feel it's too cool so i'm just going to add a little bit of warmness to the image like this and i'm just going to add a little bit of tints to this image which is magenta like this or i think i'm just going to leave the tints like this but you can play with the tint so if i take it to this side it's going to show it's going to add greens to the image if i take it to this side it's going to add magenta to the image so i think i'm just going to leave it the way it was before so i like it like this so let's see our before and after these are before and these are after so that's for the white balance so the next thing right here is our exposure so this exposure simply means the brightness of your image 
so if you feel your image is too bright you can always use your exposure tab to adjust it so but this image right now is looking okay i like the exposure like this but if your image is dark just move your exposure up and add brightness and move it down to add um to make your image look dark and i'm just going to put it at default why right here is the contrast you can add contrast to your image and you can remove contrast from your image so this is the contrast sliders why right here is the brightness so this brightness will serve as exposure but it's not as intense as the exposure so if i take the brightness up it takes um it try to preserve the skin tone or the um skin texture on the image whereas exposure just brighten up the whole image including the skin texture so this is my exposure if i take my exposure up you can see the uh, the image is blowing out even the um subject in the skin texture and the image are blowing out whereas if i try to move my brightness up it's going to try to preserve my skin texture as you can see I take it all the way to 40 even 50 i can still see my skin textures or the, the skin of my model but if i take my exposure all the way to 100 you can see the image is blown out so that's different between exposure slider in capture one and brightness sliders in capture one why here is the saturation so if you want your image to be saturated just take your image up and you can see how saturated this image is if you want it to desaturate just take it all the way down and your image is going to be desaturated so just play with the sliders and see which one works which one works for you so i think for this image i'm just going to leave the saturation like this normal so i'm not going to leave this exposure tab like this i'm not going to touch anything because i like the way this image is right now so the next one right here is our high dynamic range so i use this high dynamic range a lot so you can see the highlight of this image they are all blown out so if you want to bring back those details on the highlight all you have to do is bring your highlight sliders all the way down as you can see i'm recovering some details in the background so this is how it was before originally and this is how it is right now i'm trying to recover some image in the background but if you shoot well you can recover a lot of details in the uh, your image after taking the pictures so i'd like you to shoot well so you can recover a lot of details on your image when you are editing it or processing your image or correcting your image so i'm just going to bring these um, highlight sliders all the way to um for 72 just take it all the way down until you feel your image is good and you can stop once you feel your image is good so the numbers does not really matter and it's for, for some situation you can take your highlight all the way up and it just depends on the kind of image you're editing why for the shadows i can see my dark look at just look at these dark parts of this image i feel they are too dark so i just want to brighten them up so i'll just take my shadows all the way up a little bit so you can see i'm trying to open up the shadows to make them look a little bit brighter so that's for the shadow slider so if i take my shadow slider all the way down you can see the shadows area are looking dark so if i take it all the way up they are looking bright so that's for the shadow area why this white is um to compensate for your highlights so this white is not as effective as the highlights but if i take it all the way up you can see the highlights are beginning to come back but if i take it all the way down you can see they are beginning to um details are beginning to show there so they are the same function just that this highlight is more intense and this white is less intense for the blacks that are also the same as the shadows if i take the black all the way up you can see the um the shadows are coming up and if i take it all the way down you can see the shadows are dark so just take um just compensate so since i bring my shadow up i'm just going to bring my blacks all the way down a little bit to add a little bit of contrast to the image and for my white i'm just going to take it a little bit up to add more um white to the highlights so that's all for the high dynamic range